going on everyone welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the acaso v50 elite now something interesting about this is that this is actually not my first v50 elite i actually already have one here surprisingly um but it actually um from a little bit i i did slightly over tighten it i have to be honest but it did kind of break here like the the knot um fell out and we kind of jerry rigged it so that's just one thing to say about the quality of this camera it is not it's not something that you would get of like a gopro but it is a very good camera you will see in the review now this is going to be a pretty long video because it's going to be an unboxing review so i will leave timestamps below if you want to go um skip to different parts for like the review and the unboxing and it'll also show you how to set this camera up a little so first to open the box is you've just got to pull down on this so first you got to take this plastic off here which i'll do like that then like that then you pull this out and here you have your camera so i'll just put the box off to the side and so this is the camera so we're gonna first start off by um or as it shows on the instructions here, you can pull this off the waterproof case and here, take out your camera. And this is your camera. We'll put that off to the side for now. So now to take your waterproof case off of its mount here, um, you just kind of, um, if you're not trying to take it off at first, you can just pull this removable thing off and pull this up if i can give me a sec so basically i'll have to do this off camera because i can't do it right now but you just pull it up and push it off so yeah i'll see you guys once i get it off all right so now after quite a bit of work i've finally been able to take the waterproof case off and yes it is very hard to take off, so just a little bit of a warning. You might need to get like a tool to take it off. It is pretty hard. So once you've taken it off, we can set this off to the side for now. And let's see, so this here is your little box basically that comes with your basic accessories. So you can pull this open and here's your accessory kit. Um, I'm, I assume most people will get this um, free 24 month warranty thing. Um, here, um, but I'm not sure. And I'll just um, pull, I'll take this all out. And this is, so th these are your accessories. So um, here, um, give me one sec. I'm gonna open all these up out of their packages so I can showcase everything that's in here. All right, so this is what it looks like when you open everything up. And something that I actually find surprising is so these are all the accessories and I've actually noticed some of the accessories are a little bit different on this camera than my old camera, even though it is the same, a Casa V50 Elite. Even just like, um, for example, the remote on my old Acaso, um, on the old V50 Elite, this is the remote that it came with. On the new one, it's this. I actually think this one does seem a bit better. It seems nicer. Um, yeah, I just accidentally turned it on, so that's... Not great. Now that is the accessories. I'll show you um, in depth what it all is. So here we have, um, this is a, um, a dual battery charger, which is very nice that they give it to you. It also They also give you two batteries. So this is very nice to have. So you can charge your two batteries at the same time. And in order to do that, they also give you a cable that you can plug into there with the US with the micro USB end and that plugs into there and then this can go into a um, computer or also a power block um, so like an iPhone power block or whatever this can also be used actually to plug into your camera and connect that to something so that's very nice to have um, also a bunch of mounts um this is a bike handle mount some extra mounts j clip mount or j hook mount i think that's what it's called i'm not sure some helmet mounts adhesive mounts 
some straps, which nobody really knows what they're for. <laughs> um, I'll move this out of the way because it's probably too confusing. And these are little adapters. Um, so with like a chest mount or anything, um, if you, so for example, as you can see with the camera, um, it doesn't have any hooks to attach to any of these mounts right off the bat. So it does have um, a little uh, quarter inch mount, uh, screw, I believe you call it. So you can attach that in there and then now you have prongs attached. Or yes, yeah, so that you can mount it to anything. Um, my old camera didn't come with this, but this one does. This is just, um, this can help a lot because the screws can be pretty hard to, um, undo like these, like with your fingers. So this can help. It's like a nice little tool that it, can, it comes with. Um, all right. So that is basically, oh, also here, this is a little extra back door for the waterproof case. So the normal waterproof case is a full back door that like, you can't use the touchscreen when you have it on because it's plastic. But this one has um, has a little basically cut out area here so that you can access the touchscreen with the waterproof case on. But I'm not fully sure if it's still waterproof if you use this. I'm, I, I don't know actually. And you still don't get all the audio, so yeah. And these are just some extra ad adhesive pads and um, clips. I kept these ones in bags because I just, yeah, some, and yeah, here's um, a cloth for the screen. So yeah, I'll put this off to the side now, and let's talk about actually setting up your camera. So here, um, as you can see when you get it, there's a couple screen protectors on it. By the way, this here is not a screen, um, this is just, it says that, and these are two lights that can indicate when you are... Um, recording or connected to internet or taking a photo it's like shutter stuff and all that so here let's take off our little um, lens protector and screen cover and here it'll also say getting started and stuff like that like just to kind of explain like how you can set up your camera and so yeah here we have the camera and as you can see right when you get it there is no um, battery attached so you're gonna have to insert a battery by pulling out this battery slot and I believe I'll test yeah so I don't think the batteries it comes with are immediately charged we will test it out um, oh that's surprising um, they actually did come charged on my old camera they didn't so here We'll just select date and everything. So this is getting started here. The date is, um, here, I will speed this footage up because I'm going to set this up. Um, but yeah, you can set that up yourself. All right, so I have just set it up the camera. And this is what it's going to look like when you first turn it on. Um, it will say if you try to record, you do need to insert a card. Um, the camera does not come with a card. So um, I will just pull out the SD card I already have. Um, from my other camera. So give me a sec. All right, so here, um, the type of card you will need, um, you will need um, an SD card that is rated U3 and above for it to work properly. Um, so here. I will just insert it in, just like so into the SD card slot. And here, so now we are set up and I'm getting a follow area probably because I haven't um, formatted my card. So make sure to format your card first. So I'm actually gonna take this out cause I don't, I hope it doesn't corrupt my footage. So yeah, make sure um to format your card before you use it that's probably not a good idea what i just did um anyway yes yeah, so you can also go into settings here this is like the setting menu it's pretty nice and easy and you can also change your resolution 
it goes anything anything from um this camera can do 4k 60 fps but if you're um in 4k 60 fps um wait what okay <laughs> i'm confused so i thought that you can't do 4k 60 image stabilization but it just let me do that so i'm confused Is there, like, some new update that I didn't know about? Um, yeah, this is weird. Yeah, I don't really know. Because on my old camera, to do 4K60, you had to go into... Four, um, to do image stabilization, you had to go into at least 4K30. So, that is interesting. Um, anyways, so yeah, that's basically the start guide. And um, to use your waterproof case... All you gotta do is pull off this little lens here, or this lens cover, also on the front, just like on the camera itself. And then you just slot your camera in there, like so. It's in. You put the case over, like that, and now you are set up, and you have buttons on the sides to use it. Also, by the way, for starting recording and ending and all that. Um, this is the shutter button, so to start and stop recording. This is your power button. You can also press it for modes to switch into photo, video, and all that. Um, but yeah, that's basically a quick overview of it. So now let's get into the review. Um, so yeah. All right, so first we're gonna be starting off with an audio and low light test. Um, this is decently low light right now and 4K 60 FPS. Now, I personally would not recommend using 4K 60 FPS because it does drain your battery and SD card pretty quickly. But um, yeah, this is basically pushing its, the camera to its full potential. Um, it is fairly rainy right now, so I will be doing a test out there with the waterproof case on, but you won't be able to hear audio. And I will do, so yeah, it'll be like an image stabilization test, like running around and stuff. So, um, yeah, this is the audio in low light. And, um, yeah, now let's get into an outdoor test for um, image stabilization, even though it's not going to be um, with audio, sadly. So, yeah, let's get into that. biking videos in the future probably um but yeah hopefully you can hear me but you probably can't so yeah this is just running test um and yeah So we are now testing the wind noise reduction feature. There's not much wind right now, but there is a lot of rain, so let's we'll see if that's working again. Actually, I am very surprised with this camera. Well, going through the settings, there is actually an external mic feature on here, which is crazy because um that must be like there's some weird thing with this camera. It is way better than the old one that I had. I don't know why it's like a castle made an update or something, because the old one I had was so much like the touch screen was bad, there was no external mic feature or anything. This one is like updated and everything. So keep that in mind guys. If you're gonna get one of these cameras, get the new version. Cause it's like it's really good. So yeah, you actually can plug in an external mic to this. Um probably with micro USB I'm guessing. Um so yeah. This is wind noise reduction feature. I'm not expecting much, but we will see how it works. Um, I've heard in a lot of videos that wind noise reduction is not good on most cameras, so not expecting much, but yeah, let's see how it sounds. 
all right so from actually watching it i have noticed um it does seem like the audio um seems quieter i'm not sure if that's true um you guys can say for yourself from what you've seen but i don't think it does much to the audio quality um but i'm personally not really going to be using the wind noise reduction too much i mean this is not a good test because we don't really have wind it's more rain right now but maybe on a windier day i could test not in this video though um it seems like it works fine to me but i don't know maybe with actual wind it wouldn't work as well um so yeah that is wind noise reduction let's get into some slow-mo and fast motion movie videos um now with this video um with this camera there's two ways to do time lapses there is fast motion movie and time lapse Ready? Um, the time lapse is a bit different. Um, you have to do it in time lapse intervals, which is pretty confusing. So I'm probably just going to be doing fast motion movie. I'm not sure. And as for the um, the slow mo, I'm going to be testing it in 720p, um, 240fps, and so I can get some really slow shots to see how good it is. Um, and then after that, we'll do some 1080p vlogging videos just to see how that looks. So, yeah, let's get into so the time lapse first. Alright, and lastly, I did want to test out the night mode, so um, this is the same spot where I tested low light earlier, and night mode basically just adds on um, more brightness, um, so earlier I was doing um, in the low light test at the very beginning, that was with no extra settings added, so this is night mode, um, I do believe it does make the video a bit choppier. Alright, so here as you can see, I took some photos as a test, this photo is shot in 16x9, I took this one in 4x3 format, um, these are all 20 megapixel photos, um, yeah, they're not the highest quality I've noticed, but, yeah, I've gotten higher quality with this camera, so I don't know what it is. Alright, so just to prove that this camera can shoot better photos, here are some other ones, this is with this camera, I think the lighting was just bad in those two clips, um, or those few photos. Um, but yeah, this is like what the, this is what it'll look like it over normal, like, daylight with, uh, sunny weather. So yeah, that is what the photos on this camera look like. It's pretty good. Alright guys, so that is it for all the video tests on this camera and photo tests. Um, by the way, this camera usually does perform a lot better. Um, I was making all these tests in low light, which, um... Basically, all action cameras do um, perform poorly in, so um, if the image quality was not as good as um, you would have expected, that's because of I had bad um, light. I'm sorry for, ha for having to do this on a cloudy day, it's just, yeah. Um, but I will be making more videos out on this channel with um, better lighting, so yeah, that's the one problem with this camera, and honestly, all action cameras is that... They don't do well in um, low light, so that's kind of like the problem. So like on a cloudy day, your quality will not be nearly as good as on a more sunny day. Um, but yeah, but that's basically it for this video. I'd rate for so for this camera, um, for all the price and everything, and the price to performance, um, with low light, it's not great. But like, just like yeah, like just. Saying everything combined, like, um, I'd give this camera a very high rating. By the way, the price for this is, um, about 185 Canadian and around 140, um, American. So, yeah, I'm from Canada. Um, yeah, it's really, really good camera. It's a really good camera, and I'd highly recommend it for anyone who is, like, a beginner for recording videos. A lot cheaper than a GoPro. And also, um, I forgot to say, the Acaso customer support is amazing. Like, um, give me a sec. So, like, for example, like, this old, um, the broken one that I have, as you can see, 
Um, this one, um, when we sent it off to Acasto and said that it was broken, within, like, within, like, two hours, they responded, and then immediately, for free, they gave us this replacement. So, that's amazing. Um, so, yeah, their customer service is really good. So, that's one thing that's really good about Acasto. Um, and it's really nice that they give you, like, a free 24-month warranty. So, yeah. Very good. Um, so I'd rate very highly. Um, the Acasto brand is pretty good. The one, yeah, the one problem with this camera, um, the build quality of it is not, like, amazing. It is on the cheaper side, though, for a camera. And, um, if you're worried about your camera getting broken, then use it in the waterproof case. It kind of works as, like, protection for it. Um, without the waterproof case, it can break pretty easily because there's, like, no covers anywhere for it. Um, so, yeah. If you don't want it to break, then, yeah, use that. Because I've never had any problems with the waterproof case. Um, and it's waterproof for up to, like, 30 meters, so that's pretty good. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, having all that considered with the price, the quality, everything, I'd give this camera probably a 9 out of 10. I don't really think that for this for this price you can get any better on the market. Um, there is from Acaso like the the V50 Pro or um, other cameras, and they're not. I've seen videos. They're not nearly as good as this one. Um, there are other brands out there, but you usually have to pay for like a really high quality camera. Um, you're gonna have to pay a lot more. Like um, like the newer GoPros nowadays are like six hundred dollars. Even for an older one, you have to pay like three fifty. So like. A lot more expensive anyway yeah that's about it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed i would very highly recommend this camera for anyone wanting to just do some casual videos and yeah bye